Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Amazon, where we have indeed come further down the Amazon River. And this hotspot here reminds me that our current um, obstruction, our current objective, is to get more fuel. So if we check over here on the screen, well, let's check the throttle first. Yeah, it doesn't sound good, does it? Um, we Fuel is no, so we do, are running a fuel deficit. Um, which is a little disappointing, because that's the same problem we've had to face two times over. So if this um, if this little segment is anything like the, the previous couple, then we, uh, we've we got to find fuel as our main objective, and probably as a secondary objective, we'll find a stashed floppy disk from uh, the 1930s somewhere, um, which I guess doesn't bear a lot of um, scrutiny as to the internal logic of that situation. I mean, I don't know what they would be made of, like Bakelite? It's very strange. But I think all we can do for now is head out towards this shabby hut, so I'll do that. And there are a couple of things I wanted to, um, well I scan this uh, this particular area to see where we can go and what we can interact with. Uh, there are a couple of things I want to bring up from last episode that I didn't um, address explicitly. I kind of hoped for the context, if you've um, watched any of my videos before, uh, the rest of the series that you'd, you'd kind of pick up on, but I, I did want to... Um, to bring it up this time. Uh, looks like we can only go back to the aeroflot that way. We can go along this path. Um, it's in regards to how this game is handling its depiction of this uh, fictional uh, South American country. Uh, I think there are there are definitely problems stemming from the fact that this is a um, uh, a European conceived and made game. Um, to, uh, trying to deal with um, the uh, the situation of a sort of post-colonial, post-revolutionary, fictionalised South American country. Uh, so it's several layers of remove, and it's kind of several layers of let's go to this up stylization um, that I don't think are are really working so I mean issues I have take I take with with the game really are are the use of um, the language that is in the uh, the documents that we have those there um, uh, I would accept those in character because they're, they're using um, kind of imperialist racist terms uh, for um, especially the indigenous people of of this country um, uh, I think it makes sense for the characters to use those um, terms given their their relationship um, to this country, their kind of cultural back uh, backgrounds. So I, I'm kind of willing to go along with that to some extent, although I don't enjoy reading that stuff out particularly. Um, but I think the game needs to be doing more to um, put that... Um, that worldview that is expressed in those letters into context, and I don't—I don't think it's doing a good enough job. I think it's um, starting off at a disadvantage because it's based on like a 1970s uh, anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic animal bond dessiné, so it's coming from a point of quite um, considerable stylization. So I think the um, the broadness and the stereotyping that is coming through in this um, probably originates there. Uh, there was nothing in that hut. Um, let's head over here. The creature in the background. Um, and I think that unfortunately is in tension with this fairly realistic landscape and fairly um, f physically realistic um, mechanisms that we. Oh, we can look at something. That we are um, we are interacting with here. I think the two things don't sit very well together. I don't think the um, the uh, mechanics of this game, because they're all um, basically founded around solving mechanical puzzles to further the story. And unfortunately, the story is very much based in um, personal interactions. But the uh, personal interactions we get are only um, fairly a brief 
um, animated cutscenes. Uh, we again with stylized characters, um, and I don't I don't think those are helped out by the fact that um, I'm playing them in an English dub of the original version, so they're even one step further removed from their original presentation. So I wasn't I wasn't convinced by the uh, seriousness with which um, the people we encountered last episode would have been treated um, because there was I'd say a pretty broad stereotype of, uh, in its very limited capacity we were shown of a um, of a guard uh, like a, a military guard um, who we very quickly drugged and then the other guard who we encountered was um, commiserating uh, with himself um, and clearly was trying to express some complex identity um, uh, issues um, but I don't think that was done in a very sensitive way in terms of the vocal performance and the accent uh, that the performer had chosen to use there um, so yeah I, I do have lots of issues with the, the presentation representation in this in this game and I think that's something that's going to be ongoing so I did want to talk about it a little bit at the beginning of this episode to couch that in the context for people uh, explicitly um, but let's have a look at this oh oh right it's a oh it's a creature from the book we looked at the creatures last time this is nice to see them in motion <laughs> that was cute oh okay we can go down the path could we not go down the path before have we seen will it do it again yeah well okay i'm gonna watch it again This stuff, however, this stuff I love. It's very cute. Um, and I do love, I, I mean, I love like fictional um, bestiaries and animals and sort of al alternative universes of um, flora and fauna. So this is, this element of the game is, is right up my alley. Um, am I going to, I feel like I'm probably not going to have to draw them out for this, but I'll stay open to the possibility. Right, there's a secondary shabby hut. Are we going to find like uh, a very elderly um, person in here called? Uh, let's oh, flick through to him quickly if we can. There was a nice portrait of them. I don't think they were that young at the time. Um, I'm going to get to the uh, Amazon creatures. Here we are. We're getting there. Um, Dear. Ah, Louis Ankel. Yeah, Louis Ankel. Oh, I mean, you could. Well, I'd say forties, wouldn't you? Um. Uh, but let's find out. Right. So, I guess there's going to be anything. Oh, this. Oh, I think we might have solved our petrol uh, problem there. Uh, can we look at. Okay, we can take that. Let's take that. So that's probably a document to read. Is there going to be anything? <laughs> Is there going to be any puzzle? Because I, I wouldn't necessarily call this a puzzle. Can I go anywhere else? That's the way we came. Doesn't look like it. Well, let's see what. Do oh, it's a map. Interesting. Oh, that's very vague. Um. It's kind of like a, a delta, doesn't it? To me. I'm not sure how that's supposed to help. I can't really identify particularly any landscape features from that. Like I can't tell where the river might be in relation to any of this, for example. Um, but that may come up at some point. Well, let's uh, let's put some fuel in the fuel tank, and we'll go from there. I mean, if this is the chapter, we'll have done well. Right. Uh, 
Fuel okay, details okay, egg okay, thank goodness. Right. Well, in that case, let's head on. Yeah, okay, well, that was chapter four all wrapped up. Well done, us. Oh, are these some of these sort of hippopotamus type creatures that we read about last time? Well, it looks like they might be um, slow to move. They are unintimidated by the aeroflot. Alright, well, in that case, to solve this puzzle, let's mine ourselves with those. So they kind of got like pig like faces. Hippopotamus like bodies, um, some prominent tusks. Let's find these things in this long book. Okay, past Luis. Yes, we saw the suck sucker. I think that's. Yeah, so these, oh, we're just going through it in order, aren't we? So these seem to be the porcopotamuses. Um, yes, they do. Uh, there's no notes about those, uh, but the tricorn buffalo is skittish and apparently stupid. And that's the rhinopotamus, so that's that's different. Okay, well that um, that's probably not going to help me solve a puzzle, if a puzzle is indeed a thing we need to solve. Um, can I interact with the console? I can't. Well, I can do... Oh, is there a horn? There's probably a horn, isn't there? I think that's in the document, too. Um, it says clacks in there, but it's kind of pointing to what looks like the throttle to me. No, I suppose that's the throttle, isn't it? Clacks, okay. Um... Oh, it's that little... Yeah, I'd say uh, in the diagram, that's the klaxon, but I can operate this little switch here. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do that in a second. But in case there's anything else going on here, I'm glad all our beer is safe. Um, yeah, no, I think this is just a fine thing to press. <laughs> that was a very unimpressive klaxon. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. Porcopotamus is that was was not particularly startling. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going through everything in a linear fashion, aren't we? These are the, um, the buffalo type ones. <laughs> they look a bit too still, some might say. Right, we left the engine running this time. Um, we can't do the klaxon trick again. We can. We're kind of in this. Um, I don't know what you call this. It's a narrowing passage of cliffs. Uh, can I. Okay, there must be something we can do. Oh, is this where the map comes in handy? Because if we're coming. I don't know if it's like uh, in the direction we're facing, but this would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? If we come through this passage, we're looking at two land masses ahead of us. Would that maybe? Yeah, maybe. Um, I'd, it wasn't really maze-like though. You just have to go through it, just like go straight ahead. Please, can we go? We can't interact with the console. Uh, the wheel. Can we interact with any of the levers or no? Okay. Uh, can we? Do anything around here? Not that I can see. So, oh, uh, 
Okay, there's a directional arrow in the direction of those those animals there. But that's it, so Oh, okay, so maybe I'm just gonna get a choice of how to proceed. Uh, are you gonna get oh no, I'm being I'm being rammed. Checklist. Engine damaged. Oh, what's a shame I was... Is this, is this game over? Oh no, is this game over? Um, right, I can't do that anymore. I can go this way. Okay, I think it's just it's just forcing me through a particular storyline, isn't it? And I can't do any controls. Alright, let's go this way. Um, oh, that just means we're looking this way. Right, plane. Not available. Sailing? Not available. Glider? Active mode. Helicopter? Not available. Grapnel? Grapnel's available. We're going to grapnel our way through the... Oh, this is weird. Uh, I'll grapnel those, please. Or that. Or... Can I grapnel the... Oh, well, that's confusing. What am I? What am I supposed to be grappling? Boat. So. Okay, I can do glider or grapnel. What if I choose glider? Which I'm not. I'm not really sure what it means if we're in glider mode. Right. So we can come out of it that way. I think that's all that indicates. So it's got to be grapnel, has not it? But what are we grappling? Updating informations. It should just be. Yeah, I can do anything with that. With... I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Not really sure what. Oh, hang on, I can pull that. Oh! Why have I got a grapnel icon there if I operate the... That's very confusing. So it seems to only be... Well, uh... I mean, you think this would intimidate the... Uh... Have, I, have I messed up? I don't think you can mess up in this game. Can you just just not know what to do? Um, right. So there's nothing I can do over there. I don't. I think the grapnel way is the only way. So let's do that again. Grapnel, and then can I operate anything else here in my fixed view? Doesn't look like it. Um, I guess, you know what, I can try glider and then see if any of the controls respond when I'm in glider mode as well. Which might need to get a bit closer and then use the. like closer to some of the rocks. Um, no, we can't use any of the controls. There's no indication of action in that direction. That just takes us back to where we were. Not even sure why that's an option, is it we don't seem to be able to do anything? Oh, grapnel. No, sorry, grapnel. Away! So that's for sure of that rock there, which I think maybe we could grapnel and sort of haul ourselves that way. But I don't know. Clicking here doesn't seem to do anything. So I'm not sure why the icon has changed. Um, so. I mean. 
because it automatically draws it back if it doesn't do anything. Clicking here doesn't do anything. So what? 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 What is supposed to be happening? Do I need a sword? Is that should I have should I have found a way to keep the sword? Um, I think I'm going to have to look up a solution to this because I seem to be rather out of ideas. I can't back up, um, and don't know what to do here. We definitely can't do the other modes. Not sure what grapnel is for. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look this one up, I think. I can't imagine what the solution. Unless there's like a very finicky hot spot here somewhere. But then why is it highlighting on all of this, well, all of this kind of area here, from like here to here? Why is it doing all of that rectangle there, specifically, and but also not doing anything? Hmm. I will be back in a moment. Yeah, okay. Right, so for some reason I had to click on the very top of the rock in front of me and pull the lever. That was not intuitive, I would say. Uh, looks like there's somewhere to moor over there, but I guess we'll go for that. Should we? Oh, hello. There's a. No. No, that we're not going to do what I think we're going to do, are we? Let's see. Oh, great! Right, and uh, we, yep, we're into animal cruelty. That's encouraging. Oh, right. Oh, is is he okay? Is the is the rhinopotamus okay? Don't tell me we're out of fuel. Well, the engine's broken anyway. Oh, uh, right. Well, this is um yeah. Let's go out here. Um, what can I do here? Can I fix the engine? Is that a thing I can do? Can I go down here? Well, now I'm just more confused. Right, right, we came up here. Um, I mean, theoretically, I could work my way along here. Oh, I can. Right, okay, I can work my way along here. Um, kind of in the. Oh, where are my legs? I'm in the shallows. Um, right, we're just walking along here. Oh, we're going to find out what became of the rhinopotamus? I guess we are. Uh, right. I guess I'm not quite sure why we would think that we would go... Oh, it's over there. Now, do you think it's a good idea to approach this creature? Let's check what it says about it. Okay, so if it was a tricorn buffalo... A uh, skittish animal apparently stupid, or if it's a... I, th I thought it was a rhinopotamus. This animal seems to be bound to the meanders of the Amazon River. That makes sense. The natives hunt it as they do the porcopotamus, with which you must not be confused. Uh, the Amazon River branches off into several small tributaries 
the current is very strong and only the solid experience of my guide enables us to progress without mishap. So that's why we've got the map, I suppose. Um, oh, does the map have any relevance to this? Uh, I guess we're over here now, aren't we? Yeah, that would make sense. Um, I don't know if it does. All right, we're going to approach the creature. All right, I'm sure this will go well. We can in well, we can interact. Um, let's give it the map. That oh, we can't. Okay, we might need something else to interact with. Are we gonna? Are we gonna? Um, try to enforce the labour of a. Oh, we end up here, uh, of a wild creature, to um, to help us on our uh, uh, curiously motivated um, adventure through this country. This will with us, right? Uh, is it? Uh, am I lost? This is another seafloor situation. Oh God, good no. No. Uh it is, isn't it? Oh no. Right. This way? And then there's this way. Or this way. Uh oh. Right. Well I think this is is this new? Oh dear. This is this should be a lot. This is gonna be a lot harder to chart than. Okay, we came back to the the beach. Okay, let's try again. All right, so from here I can only go forward, and from here I can go forward or backward. All right, forward. And from here I can go left. That one must be backwards, so it must be this way. And from here I can go this way, which must be the new way. And then this area looks a bit more auspicious. I can go that way or back, so let's go this way. I think there is only one way to go, it's just the geography is very hard to place. So nothing's in front of me here. There's this dappled is that whoa, whoa uh, there's some impressive shadows I'm not quite sure what they mean and that's like back where we came oh this must be forwards is this forwards I guess so there's a big tree is that helpful there's this way this is this is very silly game. This is very silly. Right? This looks like a different Oh there's a butterfly. This looks like a different sun dappled rock. But which way am I actually Am I going further around the rock? I am! Oh no, why why did we pick up a bow and arrow? What are we gonna Oh now I've got to find my way back. Of course I have. Right. Uh Hoping it would just point me in the yeah, it will do. Right, what have we got? I think that's the bow and arrow. Whew, okay, um, I'm gonna save it. Okay, so started off giving the game this episode, giving the game quite a lot of benefit of the doubt, but uh, do have we just euthanized this final possumus? We just, we just want our grapple bag. Wow. But... Uh, so what was the... What was the point of any of this? Oh my. Okay. Um... Right. Perhaps, perhaps we just like eggs and that's it. Just really into eggs. Um, right, so now can, have I got the. No. Can I pull the lever? No. Pull 
Well, what do we do now? I think we're, I think we have to leave it for next time now. Oh no, we can just go forwards. Of course, we can go forwards, right? Okay, let's grab on. We'll keep going until there's a. Well, that worked rather well, didn't it? How did we get that extra momentum? All right, it seems to be. Don't this static burst sound effects. Um. That rock? If we click at the top of a rock ahead of us, then that seems to... No, it wasn't that. This wood thing? Gulk. Blimey. Right, now these are in the book. Alright, we're going to read about these. What are we doing with these? Are we going to shoot them with our bow and arrow? Our poison darts. Now these were quite fun creatures, I seem to recall. Right, the Picasaur, a strange fish-eating lizard. Its habits are truly remarkable. It dons a long nasal appendage... appendix? That ends in a kind of claw that it uses to fish after hooking an insect larva to it. Lovely. Well, can we, can we just go through here? <laughs> I laughed. Okay, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that part. Well, I mean, there's there's nothing for it. They've got to die, haven't they? So. Can I? Okay, no, I can't use that. That's fine. Um, can I... Okay, there's not much I can... Look on to. I think it just, yeah, it just uses the one hot spot for the... The whole thing. Um, I don't really have any food to give them. I can't go back. You can never go back. Oh, hang on, there's a... There's an arrow here. Right, okay. Fine. It's a it's a lava puzzle. Um Right, we're wading through the shadows again. To find the one interactable item in a maze of screens. Oh, there's something there. It looks like a stick. Yep, it's a, it's a stick, all right. Oh, hello. What? I can interact with that stick. Am I making fire? Oh, I didn't even notice there was... Like, yeah, I am. I'm smoking out, like, wasps from a nest. Lots of nests. This is all a bit abstract, isn't it? Okay, they're going to be disturbed by the wasps. Good job we weren't disturbed by the wasps. Wow, this is highly compressed video, isn't it? Well, great. I'm. I feel really proud about how we're manipulating the um, the environment to suit our own ends. I feel like that's really um, really paying tribute to the. Uh, the um, desire for the restoration of ecology uh, uh, evinced by Professor Van Bar in uh, his final final moments. All right then, there we go.
Alright, not over there. Over here? No, over here? First time's over into the bank? No. I mean, it does look like there's a rock there. As grainy as it is. Okay, it wasn't the right hotspot. Obviously. Right, well that looks like the one, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what? This is probably uh, me mechanically, conceptually, philosophically, uh, my least favourite part of the game so far. It's quite, quite rubbish. Right, I'm clicking. I'm clicking on this rock, which is like presented to me right in the middle of my screen. Is that not where I should be focusing my attention? Should I be clicking there? Should I be clicking there? Mhm. 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 Mm -hmm. Come on, it's clearly this rock here. Let's not. You, look, I know and you know that I'm trying to click on this rock here. So let's just cut the rhinopotamus poo poo and just get to this rock hook onto this I mean look you can hook on that if you want to oh for the love of right then this one Ooh. Ooh. there's a nice waterfall over there I wish I could look at that right there's somewhere else to land here so let's get to there. Um, who knows, it might even be chapter 5. <laughs> Very graceful. Okay, how, how come we... Okay, I thought we would grapple, but... Right, yay! Chapter 5! Okay, we're definitely going to end the episode here. We'll just load up wherever, wherever environment we're in. Yeah, exactly where we left off. Um, we don't need fuel. I think we might have come to the end of our boat journey. Possibly. It looks like it. Oh well, um, I wonder what... Oh, okay, yeah it is. It's time to pick the egg up. Um, well, in that case, we shall pick up our egg and walk next time. And frankly, who knows what um, what horrors await in the further depths of the Amazon. Um, please join me next time to find out. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>